calling the Public Infrastructure and Utilities Committee meeting to order. It is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Vollmer. Present. Alderwoman Keys. Here. Alderman Browning. Present. Alderman Aldridge. Chair Schweitzer. Present. Alderman Aldridge. We have five present. You have a quorum. For present, we have a quorum. Thank you very much. We have a quorum, so approval of the minutes. Um, I will make sure the minutes are in my folder here. Great. Um, I will accept a motion to a approve the minutes of November 8th, 2023. So move. Second. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Vollmer. Aye. Alderwoman Keys. Aye. Alderman Browning. Aye. Alderman Aldridge. Chair Schweitzer. Aye. Alderman Aldridge. We have four aye votes. Thank you. By your vote, you have sustained the motion and approved the minutes of November 8th, 2023. Moving to item number four on the agenda, board bills for review. We will start with item number one, board bill number 45, introduced by Alderman Pam Boyd. Uh, you are recognized, Alderman Boyd. Thank you and good afternoon, committee. Uh, I appreciate you for hearing my bill. This bill is for speed bumps for the 5,000 block of Beacon. And this block has been infested with property damage for the residents in regards to their cars, their side view mirrors, and their uh, houses. They have had uh, two accidents over there that had hit people cars from the people that's driving at a fast pace. They did do a petition. I do have the petition here. And on our petition, it also gives people, gives the street department permission to put speed bumps in front of their homes if they want them. So if anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Thank you very much. Turning it over to members of the committee, Alderman Vollmer. No questions. Alderman Keyes. No questions. Thank you. Alderman Browning, Vice Chair Browning. Uh, thank you. Uh, I understand the concern of, of people speeding uh, and damaging property. It's terrible. It happens in every ward and every part of the city, and it's something that we need to get a hold of. Uh, street design is a great way to get a hold of that. Uh, I, I do have a question about the number of humps here. Uh, we have uh, on this board bill seven humps in a single block, uh, which I just doing a quick measurement on Google Earth. Looks like it's about 840 feet long. Uh, and I'm curious, it, you said that the residents signed petition to put a speed hump in front of their address. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, the, uh, the block is pretty long. And so in our community, our blocks are longer than people anticipated. And I had explained to the chair previously because she had questioned about the number of speed humps. And I told her that one block we had, we had uh, four speed humps in the block. But when the guy hit the gas and turned the corner, he wound up on top of somebody's house. Mm. And so the, the four speed bumps did not slow him down. So we had to add speed bumps after the fact to that block. And so those blocks are pretty long, and that's why we have those number of block. I mean, those number of speed humps, not block. Understood. Okay, I just want to make sure this is what you intended to do. It uh, it it strikes me as a lot of humps for for an 840 foot block. But uh, you know, if that's uh, how you see the need in your community, then I would defer to that, and uh, I have no more questions. Okay, thank you. Because normally, what I do, I'll ride the block. Mm -hmm. then I'll walk the block with some of the residents. And so we kind of mapped out the uh, speed humps. Locations. Okay. Any further questions from members of the committee? And I appreciate the time you've taken to already answer my questions. Um, so anything you'd like to say to close? I want to uh, ask for your full support of this uh, bill in regards to the speed bumps. I do have the petition if you I want to attach that to the bill. And I'd be honored if you all would do unanimous, unanimous approval. 
Thank you so much. At this time, I will entertain a motion for a due pass recommendation of board bill number 145. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Hearing no objection to previous roll, we have passed board bill 145 out of committee with the due pass recommendation. Um, Vice Chair Browning, the next board bill is mine. Do you mind taking over chairmanship? Happily. Thank you. Alderman Schweitzer, you are recognized on board bill 159 when podium. Thank you very much, Vice Chair Browning, and thank you all for your time in hearing this bill today. Uh, board bill number 159 is also a speed hump bill. This one is a little unique for me because I normally do have a, a process of if folks have 50% um, or more than 50% of folks along a block sign on for speed humps and the street qualifies for speed humps based on uh, several different factors, then we will move forward with in installing those speed humps. Um, but this, this bill is a little bit different because all of these speed humps are uh, humps that were requested by f folks before I became an alder person of these areas. So these people were told by their aldermen at the time that they were either in the queue or that the support for these these speed humps um, and so what my office did is went back and reached out to folks along each of these block and just blocks and confirmed with folks that they had at some point given their permission and, and acceptance of a speed hump um, so that we would confirm basically what with the information that had been passed on from other uh, previous aldermen of these locations so that we would not be making these people go through a, an, another process, if you will, to get speed humps on the block when they had already felt that they had done that with their previous alder person. So this bill is a block, or I'm sorry, is a bill that includes speed humps along eight different blocks in, in the first ward in neighborhoods that I did not previously represent uh, that had been in the queue, as I said, um, with other aldermen. And so I hope to earn your uh, favorable consideration of, of this bill and appreciate your time. Thank you. We'll go to the committee for questions. Alderman Volmer. No questions. Alderwoman Keys. Um, yeah, I, um, and thank you so much, uh, Vice Chair uh, Browning. Uh, I too find myself in a situation similar to this one where, um, you know, residents are waiting in anticipation, you know, and, and so uh, I'm trying to work through this process as well. So I definitely feel for you. And uh, with that, I have no questions and I definitely support um, what you believe to be best for your community. Thank you. I too have no questions, uh, just the joys of redistricting. So uh, with that, you are recognized to close. Thank you. I, I ask uh, for, uh, I hope to earn a favorable consideration from this committee with a due pass recommendation. Thank you. At this time, I will entertain a due pass recommendation so for moved. Board Bill 159. So moved. Been moved Second. by the Alderman from the 11th. Uh, previous role. Alderman from the, fi from the 5th, request previous role. Hearing no objection. Congratulations, Alderman Schweitzer. Thank you. feel like our committee should get the award for most efficient committee. Um, so with that, we have finished board bills for review, um, resolutions for review, we have none. Uh, committee discussions. Um, I do want to take a minute here uh, to discuss the resolution that our committee passed um, at the very beginning of the session where we went over all of the goals for the committee and set up some priorities topics that we wanted to focus on um, in order to be um, as transparent and accountable to the public as possible. My hope is for us all to review that resolution and I'd love to hear from all of you about uh, any any conversations that, that you've been having or any work you've done around those topics. Um, I'll share the same and then to put together a time for us to during um, a future committee meeting to talk through what we think, you know, where our progress on, on goal items in that resolution and 
how we're moving as a committee to address these things. So um, after this, this committee hearing, I will forward you all that resolution again and ask for any input you can give with how you think we're doing, I guess, and meeting all of the things we set forth in that resolution so that we can um, be accountable to our constituents as we move through our work here. Um, any further committee discussions? Okay. Uh, acknowledge any written testimony? Do we have any written testimony? We have none. Okay. Uh, any announcements? Okay. Excuse members, I do need to excuse Alderman Aldridge. And I believe I can just excuse him. So Alderman Aldridge is excused uh, for necessary absence. And with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Previous roll. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you so much. Thank you. 13 minutes, team. All right.